In this video, we'll see how to create a pivot table that counts items for you correctly, even if there are blanks in the data. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. In this table, we've got nine records for product sales. We can see the product name here and the quantities. One quantity is missing, but we would like to get a count of orders for each of these products. So I'm going to create a pivot table. I'll select a cell in the table on the insert tab, click pivot table. And in here, make sure that it's selected my table as the range. I would like this on a new worksheet and I'm not going to put it in the data model. Click OK. And here's my empty pivot table. Now I want to count the product, so I'll click here and that automatically puts it in the rows area. And we want to do a count. Usually when we want to do a count or a sum, we use a numeric field. So we have quantity, but if I put that in, it goes in as a sum automatically. I can right click, summarize values by count. And that gives me a count, but it's only showing one order for pens. And if I go back and look at my data, there's one here and one here. One does not have a quantity, so it's not counting that blank cell. If I go back to my pivot table and revise it, I'm going to take quantity out. So I'll uncheck that. And I need to use one of my fields where there's data in every row. So I could use ID or product. So I'll go back to the pivot table. And I'm going to use product. I've already got it checked because it's in the rows area. I'm going to drag it into values and now it shows up. And because that is a text field, it automatically comes in as a count. So now I have two records for pens, which is what I wanted. We'll look at another example now. This is a slightly larger table and I would like to get a count of the districts and find out how many of these are blank. I'll create a pivot table, insert pivot table. It has the table name, new worksheet, and I don't want it in the data model. Now I'll put district in and it goes into rows automatically. And here are the records where the district field is blank. If I put district into the values area, the blanks show up as having no records. And again, like the last example, it's because it the pivot table can't count the blank cells. I'll go back to the pivot table and take district out of the values. And I'm going to look at my data. And here we can see orders. That field has something in every row. So I'm going to use that. Put it into the values area. It comes in as a sum. Right click. Summarize values by count. And now we can see that there are seven blanks. And just to tidy things up, instead of count of order, just say count. And that makes your pivot table a little easier to understand. Thanks for watching this video. You can go to my website, contextures.com, to get this workbook. And please subscribe to my Contextures YouTube channel so you can see the latest videos as I post them.